Hi folks, it's Evo here from Thunderous Lure Company and welcome to today's episode of Thunderous Fishing Tips. You know, every year I make a trip out to beautiful Cape Cod, take a vacation out here, fish Cape Cod, Buzzards Bay. It's great fishing and today folks, we're in Buzzards Bay, we're looking for Mr. Fluke. So stick around, we're hoping to have a great show. Hey, first cast with that python darter, Phil. Python darter. Unbelievable. Oh, it's a fluke. Well, it's a little guy though. A little one? You want to lift him in? Yep. Okay. Hey, there you go. Beautiful. Things are getting so stale here. There's no drift. Well, the winds are shifting right now, Phil. I thought I'd cast out a spoon. Python darter. He's a strip of squid. Yeah, there he is there. It's another fluke, Phil. He's not that big though. Hang on. Hang on. It's just a little guy. There we go. Okay, one small fluke. Wow, that's small. Okay, off he comes. Little baby fluke. We got to get him bigger than that. Okay, down he goes. I'm going to rig up again. With uh, Actually, I'm using a, a strip of, of uh, sea robin, Phil. Yeah, I've got that on too. Is that what you're using yeah. on the viper spoon? Uh, oh, it's a fluke. Nice it's fluke. fluke. Hang on, hang on. I'll grab the net. Probably too small. Think so? Well, I'll just go by eye. Okay. I took a strip of sea robin. Sea robin and a viper spoon again. Beautiful. He won't measure, eh? No, he's not going to measure. Down he goes. Folks, I'll show you how we're fishing, what we're doing here. Oops. Okay, Phil's line here going. Mine's still in the water. What we've got is we've got a T turn swivel here going down about two feet to uh, a sinker. And then we have about two and a half feet of line running to, uh, to a viper spoon. And we're using the uh, the T turn, the Thundermist T turn three way swivel, as you can see here. And this swivel allows you to fish tangle free. And this setup here, folks, is absolutely perfect if you want to fish for uh, fluke or flounder. That T turn keeps you tangle free, allows for complete 360 degree rotation. And you can drop your line in, you don't have to worry about any tangles. Put it down there, sinker on the bottom. We're just slowly drifting here. Um, with the tide and a bit of a breeze going, so it's just perfect. That flutters, that viper spoon is just fluttering like so. And Phil's got a strip of uh, sea robin, Phil? Yep, strip of sea, strip sea robin. Of sea yep. robin. Uh, we've been using squid as well, but we've been getting uh, a lot of sea bass on the viper spoon and the squid. So what we've done is we've switched over to a little bit of sea robin to try to avoid uh, all those sea bass. Not that we don't want the sea bass, but we really want to get into some some keeper fluke. And this viper spoon, I'll tell you, is like a fluke magnet. And fishing it in this method, absolutely ideal. It's a fluke. It is? Yep. Look at that T-turn coming up, tangle free. There we go. Nice. A small one. But it's a nice fluke nonetheless. You know, I was talking to a lot of people asked me about these viper spoons and uh, this is the size sp4 and as you can see today folks the size sp4 catches small fluke and it catches larger fluke as well don't be afraid because this is all a tractor that spoon is all a tractor or the beads and the bucktail it's all a tractor and then they see your bait and they just hammer it and that's what i mean about the t-turn every time you bring it in it comes in tangle free i love that another fluke yeah it is Let's hope it's a keeper. Uh, it looks kind of small. Oh, God, God. Let's take a look. It looks a little bit small. Uh, yeah, I don't yeah, think he's 18 and a half. Okay, there's no way he's 18. 16. Nope. 16 inch. Too short. Back he goes. A lot of fun. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice little shower. Thanks so much for tuning in today, folks. And as always, until next time, good luck and good fishing.